the little pepper fruits are coming in. Hello, little pepper fruits. How are you? <laughs> you didn't have to do the voice. I just. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go uh, check out the farm. Let's show them what we've done so far. Okay. Huh? Okay, so where should we go first? Let's go to the greenhouse. All right, let's <laughs> go check it out. Okay, we're at the greenhouse. Do you want to explain everything to everybody? Sure. What's going on in there? Mm -hmm, let's do it. Okay. So when we first built the greenhouse, then started right away and put in this bed, and we put in these tomato plants and as you can see they are so tall we've got ones that are like almost hitting the ceiling like this guy here we've trellised them uh, but they're still continuing to grow just had the full moon and that's when they really really boom um, we've got lots of fruit growing on them now um, as you can see we've got um, there are lots these are the big tomatoes so there's lots of big tomatoes that are popping up they're still green, but they're starting to turn color, and we cannot wait to eat those. So this is our tomato bed, and there's also some other things kind of interplanted inside of it. So like some ginger, um, some onions, there's even a basil plant in there. Um, and then some things just kind of like popped up. We've got some calendula popping up. We have this big sunflower that popped up, and we're just kind of letting things be. Um, and then... In the beginning, when we were making this bed, there was something that started popping up in the aisle way, and it was two um, plants, and we decided let's just leave them there and let them grow. Well, this is what's <laughs> happened now. Um, <laughs> it's squash, and there's two of them, and they are just crawling right along. There's lots of fruits. Um, inside there that you can see and we're still trying to figure out the exact variety of what they are um, one fruit looks almost like a pumpkin and the other one is very much like a squash or even a melon but we're pretty sure it's some sort of squash um, so this has been kind of I mean it's in the way but kind of really exciting to see it grow so then the bed over here was the second bed that we created and we planted a bunch of radishes and then planted our cucumbers the radishes that's a quick crop that was like a 30 day radish we've already picked that and now we have some other radishes in the ground but the cucumbers have now shot up we have those trellis so that they can vine up and produce their fruit um, and this was another bed where there was some accidental things planted so at the end here there is I don't know like eight different tomato plants that just popped up and I think it was because Ben had these soil blocks that had tomato seeds in them and then it got mixed into the soil and then all of a sudden we have some extra tomatoes popping up at the end so just kind of let those ride with it we're trellising those to see what they produce um, and then the uh, so the other radishes that we planted in here are um, watermelon radish and is there another one in here that's it just the watermelon radish and then the cucumbers i know there's a lemon cucumber and then ben will have to tell you the other name uh, the market more okay japanese climbing and the app apple richmond the richmond apple okay got it cool yeah so that's here and hopefully the squash plant doesn't hinder the cucumbers what else is interplanted in there oh and we have some bunching onions interplanted so we like to maximize and just make use of the whole entire bed so the third bed that we did was this one on the other side of the greenhouse this one's extra wide as you can see again just maximizing our space and this is full of peppers so we have jalapeno peppers, Anaheim peppers, bell peppers, and sweet peppers. And then we did some extra tomatoes because we have lots of tomato plants that we've um, just trying to maximize our space here again. Uh, the tomato plants you see are along the wall. 
Um, and then in the corner here, we have a bunch of avocado trees that then started from the pit. Started from the pit uh, with some water at the window, and now we have some trees growing. So make sure you save your pits and you can grow yourself your own avocados. So our final bed is this bed here, and this, as you can see, is tomato plants. So we have tomato plants going up on each side and then in the middle we've interplanted the bunching onions again on this bed. What kind of tomatoes? So these are cherry tomatoes. We've got the big tomatoes as you saw on the other bed and then this bed is focusing on the cherry tomatoes. And what type of cherry tomatoes? I have no idea. <laughs> 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 started so many different cherry tomatoes from seed. I don't know which ones these are, but Ben might know. Yeah, we've got uh, <laughs> a pink variety, uh -huh. a black variety, a yellow variety, and... A red variety? A red variety. Good! <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait for those to come in. Yeah, these. so these were planted last, so we haven't seen... We do see a little bit of fruit coming in, the little green fruits, but... And this will get us a later season crop, so... Yes. We'll have tomatoes through the whole season. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then what else do you think we want to show them? So, as you probably saw behind me, we have two shelving units here, and this is where we keep our microgreens. We have been experimenting with a variety of seeds, but our main ones are sunflower, peas, and fenugreek. And then we've also tried some other items, which are just a little bit harder to grow, but like basil, kale, cabbage, and... Lentils. Lentils, mug bean. Um, those ones are just a little bit more delicate and harder to um, manage. Okay. That was cool, right? It didn't look like that in in April, right? When we got the greenhouse out. No, it did not. It's come a very long way. It's very green and everything's getting really big. It's popping. It's popping <laughs> in there. So, can I show them the outside? Yes. Okay, cool. I'm going to pass the camera to Ashley. She's going to be the camera woman. And then I'm going to take you guys outside here so you can check out what we're growing in the beds outside okay so this is our first bed here and of course you guys already know what we're growing in our first bed celery so we got celery growing in here and then I interplanted some bunching onions in with the celery so in between the celery you got bunching onions that's our first bed second bed here it's kind of like a mix because what we discovered was at market people don't just like one thing every week <laughs> they like a variety of things so if you're planning on farming one day and you want to go to market and sell your stuff plant a lot of different things that's our recommendation so I've got some carrot in this bed I've got some beets in this bed and we got some spinach in this bed so kind of Three different thing, three different crops, and about 25 feet of each crop. So that's bed two. Bed. Oh, well, let's talk about what I have to my left here. That's my bed. This is Ashley's bed. You want to talk about this, Ashley? It's just a flower bed that doesn't have too many flowers. It's mainly a sunflower bed. <laughs> planted the sunflowers and then we planted a few others but the sunflowers are the ones that are doing well and they're just about to bloom yeah but it looks good and we got some uh, echinacea in there some marigold um, I think those are, there's one other one I can't think of yeah and there's that weird contraption over them because when they were young the deer was eating them and that was the way of keeping it out. Charlie was. Charlie, our dear friend. Yeah. Alright, so bed three. This one is I just direct seeded some new crops. So bed three here 
in the front half of the bed is bunching onion and carrot. And then all behind it here, that is turnips. So we love our turnips. We've been making all sorts of stuff with the turnips. It's like the a secret crop we didn't know about until last year. And now we're eating a ton of it. And then at the market, there's people that buy a ton of turnips. So another great crop. Okay, so bed four here, what we have in the beginning is a, I just planted some broccoli rab. And that's basically in this whole front half. It's a quick crop, so it's like a 30 to 50 day crop. So I figured it'd be perfect for the fall. And then behind it is kale. And we got different types of kale, so a bunch of different dinosaur kale, purple, uh, green, red, white, you know, all different all different color palettes. And then in the back there, we've got some cabbage. Behind that, we've got red cabbage. Behind that, we've got broccoli. And then we've got our lettuce bed here. So you've probably been seeing all those yummy salads that Ashley's been posting, all those recipes on our Instagram. If you don't follow us on Instagram, give it a follow. It's that dot root dot life and Ashley will come out here and harvest all sorts of uh, lettuce leaf and then she'll make us our lunch salads with it so got a lot of lettuce in this bed and we just got our first restaurant right that's exciting yep they ordered lettuce and ordered onions lettuce today so Another place this lettuce is going is not only to the farmer's market anymore, but we're going to be taking it to a local restaurant. And we also have a friend that likes to munch on the lettuce. He likes these this bed better, though. This is our lettuce head bed. So this is lettuce leaf. So this, this lettuce leaf you can chop, and then it will regrow itself. So that's how we harvest this, is we'll cut. It'll regrow and it'll do that up to four times. Then we have our, our lettuce headbed here. In the lettuce headbed, this bed is just uh, heads of lettuce. So sometimes we'll bring heads of lettuce to market, which uh, people seem to enjoy. We, we get them nice and big. And then people buy it. Yeah. It's <laughs> like an eye catcher. They're like, whoa, I don't think I can eat all of that. But I want to buy it. I want it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so yeah, we've got some lettuce heads in this bed. We've we've been adding to it as we we pull out, and that's the one crop we have to continue to to grow in the nursery. And we have a gopher that likes them too. We've got a gopher, and we saw him yesterday for the first time. He popped his little head up, and he was just kind of looking around looking around and I said Ashley get over here the gophers here and luckily she made it over and he was still he had his little head still popped out and she got to see it but he's a cute little thing but man, not so he, cute when you pull the whole lot of, had a lettuce down no and you'll be standing here working in the bed and all of a sudden a lettuce will just go whoop, in a hole it's crazy so let's go to the next bed this is our tot soy bed, tot soy Asian spinach. This was going in our salad mixes, and then beyond it, you've got uh, cilantro, parsley, got some dill back there. So I made it kind of like an herb bed after. So the tot soy will come out, and I'll put something else in there probably in the next couple weeks. This is our top selling bed here, guys. This is top seller here. <laughs> this is our radish bed. And at market, radishes are a hit. They're a hit. People love the radishes, and we we come with different varieties. With all our stuff, we grow a bunch of different varieties, so people get to taste all these different cool veggies that they wouldn't get at the store. And so radishes, we'll plant all these different colors. We've got yellow ones, we've got white ones, pink ones, purple ones, red ones, and they really are an eye catcher. So if you're walking by, you see these colors, you're like, oh, people will come in, they'll get a radish, and then we'll convince them to get some turnips usually. So, and then this bed, this is our spicy bed. So 
This bed, we've got the watercress in the beginning here, and then the rest of the bed is arugula. All right, so I'm done with explaining this stuff. <laughs> it's your turn. Okay. So I'm going to let you kind of explain the next couple beds. So our next bed is strictly all herbs. So in this bed, we've got lemon balm, sage, thyme, oregano, chamomile, um, yarrow. I'm missing one. Yarrow. Yarrow. <laughs> uh, yarrow. Mainly lemon balm. That's the big one that you see down the middle there. So strictly herbs on this bed. And so in this bed is our big kale. In the other kale bed, that was baby kale. This is our big kale. It's a mix of different types, just like the baby kale. And then behind it in the back there is purple cauliflower, which is still growing. So you haven't seen the cauliflower yet, but it's getting there. Next bed, this one has been exciting. The last week we finally got some zucchini. So these are our zucchini squashes. And yeah, we, were, we just harvested uh, like five of those and then now we have more just growing. Apparently they grow like an inch a day um, and just continue to grow. So that's really fun to watch. And then interplanted are bunching onions, and then I think there's also broccoli in here. Is that true? Yeah, so then there's also some broccoli in here. And then in the very back where you see um, those posts, we have peas growing. They're about this tall right now, um, and we just put the trellis up, so soon they're going to start climbing and producing peas. Our next bed here, you're going to see that we have some tomatoes. These are tomatoes that are outside. We're told that tomatoes outside don't do too well in this area, but we figured we had so many tomato plants that we would give it a try and see, you know, if they grow. So this is one of our outside beds that has tomatoes down the side, and then we've done some more interplanting with the bunching onions. Um, and then we have some squash on the other side, and then What's in the middle there? It's onion, uh, broccoli. Broccoli. Um, and then these are just extra lemon balm and strawberry plants that we have that we uh, don't have a spot for. Oh, show them your strawberry bed. Um, <laughs> we didn't show you the strawberry bed yet because it's kind of out by itself over here. So we'll give you a quick little show of that. So across the way here we have uh, a strawberry patch. Um, that plant over there is a white strawberry which is so good. We brought that from our home in the Bay Area and those are so good. They're so tiny but they taste so sweet like candy. Um, and then these are um, just regular strawberry plants that we have growing in the patch. little tomato. This is our first ready tomato. <laughs> we picked a few others but they were not ripe yet and we're just letting them ripen but this one must have popped today from probably the sun. So, so it's sun gold I think. We're gonna have to eat this. I'll eat half of it. We'll eat half? Yeah I'll take half. Mm. So good. Kind of sweet. Mm. Mm. Really good. Mm-hmm. So, another outside bed. That tomato proved that it was really yummy. Um, but we will see how much fruit is actually produced on these outside tomato beds. So you'll see we have a whole bunch more of tomatoes on both sides of this. And then we did some more inner planting with the bunching onions to make use of the space. Um, and then in the very back, we did some really... Uh, tiny tomato plants or they're called tiny tims and then directly behind that is more squash um, and then directly next to this bed we've got a row of squash and this is winter squash winter squash yeah so the winter squash will will produce all the way through the winter time so we've got some pumpkins in there. We've got some sweet squash. We got the delicata. 
we got the buttercup, all the the best varieties, the, the ones that we like to eat. Yeah, those are good. Okay. Yeah, let's let's I explain these next ones mm -hmm. together. Behind us here are the squash. You can see that big row there. We've got two rows the of them. Squash square. It's called the squash square. We're naming it right now, Squash Square. I'm going to show you right now kind of how they've been doing. So you can see them back here. That's one side. There's the other. And we're standing in the square right now. So these, this is the square right here. <laughs> there's a row behind us too, right? And then, the, oh yeah, and then there's a row like right there. So there's also a row behind us. So lots of squash. We love eating squash, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we kind of discovered squash last summer, really. Well, we've always eaten it, but last well, winter is when we explored different winter squashes. Yeah, because we were just eating like the, the, the regulars, like butternut. the butternut squash and... Pumpkins. Pumpkins. That was kind of it. Yeah. So. But then we discovered delicata. We discovered buttercup. You know, this year I'm growing a bunch of sweet winter squash as well. There's some varieties we're growing that supposedly are sweeter than pumpkin. So I'm excited to, to try those out. Mm -hmm. So, okay, we saw the squash. Ashley, where are you? I'll let you show oh, them. Okay. So this bed right here, this bed is our uh, bean bed. So we're doing a lot of dry beans. So we've got some pinto beans in there, black beans, and some turkey cause, but the turkey cause I think are toast. So I took those out and I put a bunch more winter squash in there. Because they like heat better, right? Because they like heat, yeah. Because they were growing in the greenhouse, and then once we took them out here, it wasn't hot enough, so. This bed here is another summer squash bed. So we've got, we picked a couple zucchinis out of here for the market on Saturday. We've got some uh, yellow crookneck uh, squash growing. There's a lot of slugs back there. That's what Ashley's doing right now. It she's was like leaf, on. But I thought it was a slug. <laughs> <laughs> she's like on slug patrol, and she's great at picking all these little slugs off because they'll do damage to your squash plants. So that's our biggest threat up here. We thought, oh man, we're gonna run into elk. We're gonna run into deer. So this is our last bed here, and you can see behind me here we got peas. So we got some peas trellised up. And then behind that, we got lemon balm. And then behind the lemon balm, we've got some lettuce that's going to seed. And then we've got, oh, we've got some onions back here. Maybe they want to see that. Yeah, so these are all our onions. And the onions are, are popping now, finally. This is a pink onion, so pretty, pretty good variety. Um, sweet. It's got like a pinkish skin to it. You know, something you wouldn't get in the store. Something worth trying, I think. But those are all sold. Those are all going to the restaurant we're working with. They want all of our onions. So there's like 26 of them here. And we're going to be giving them about six a week. Yeah. And so... Oh, is that a slug? Yeah, I just picked two while you were talking. Oh, man. <laughs> Alright, and then what else? Oh yeah, we, we should show them this, huh? The tomatoes? Yeah, the tomatoes here. We've got like a square of tomatoes. It's more like an L. We got the tomato L, and these are just all cherry tomatoes. <laughs> we ran out of space. And so we figured, well, we'll just put them in pots, and then we can just... It's easy to just go and grab a tomato when you're doing some cooking, or throwing them on a salad, or... Yeah. You know, something like that. We had a lot of tomato plants and we didn't want to let them go to waste. So We had big plans for tomatoes, but just not enough time. <laughs> or enough space in the greenhouse. Yeah. So that's okay. They're not uh, 
We're not going to waste. We'll still get plenty of tomatoes. Yes. So, I think that's it. We've kind of shown them mm -hmm. the farm, you know, what we've been up to. So this is kind of like something we're going to start doing, I think, right? Like farm updates. Update like, you guys on, yeah, where things are. We wish we would have done one sooner, but here we are showing you where we're at and all the progress that we've made. Yeah, I think it's fun for them to kind of see what we've been up to. Mm -hmm. You know, they see these videos of us talking and then this cool stuff in the background, but they... <laughs> don't ever get to see the cool stuff so there you go yes we enjoyed taking you guys around and showing you what's been going on <laughs> here we hope you enjoyed it yes and if you guys like what you saw be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell to get notified every time we post a new video and tell us what you're growing because you know we're growing a lot of cool things here but i'm sure everybody that's watching this has their own garden and want to share some cool varieties with us stuff that that we're not growing here that you're growing that you love and maybe we'll grow next year so yeah we'll see you <laughs> <Sounds good. laughs> see you guys later bye <laughs> bye